guys, welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Figure Fanatics. Uh, today we're going to go over an interesting figure from, from the onset, I guess. Uh, the Black Box Toys Jack Dawson from Titanic. This is the uh, character played by Leonardo DiCaprio uh, the, 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 in the movie Titanic, the film that, uh, I don't know, most girls that I know seem to uh, drool over. Uh, let's take a look at this a little bit closer and see if this matches up to a custom that I made a while back. All right, so the box is pretty standard. You got your uh, usual slip cover on the front. You got the picture of the Titanic. It says Titanic, Jack Dawson. Yeah, we get the idea. Uh, on the back, uh, illustration. It looks like the top two are actually the figure itself and the bottom two are reference photos from the film. Uh, licensing violation, I think, maybe, maybe, but then again, made in China, they don't care about that kind of stuff, doesn't bother them. So, uh, open it up here, we got the symbol, Black Box Toys logo kind of visible, so it's got a little bit of a shine to it, nothing else going on here. Okay, he's, he comes already wearing the coat, and uh, I think he wore it only briefly in the film. Uh, okay, right off the bat, I'm not liking the head sculpt. So take a look at that. I mean, when you, when you see a box that says Titanic and it says Jack Dawson, you open it up, you know you're going to encounter a figure that's being proposed as uh, Leonardo DiCaprio likeness. So yes, okay, I get it. I understand that it's supposed to be Leo, but does it, does it do a job that I respect? Uh, we'll see when we compare it to my custom in a moment here. All right, so it's got the jacket, it's got uh, corduroy pants, good texture on the corduroy. The shoes or boots, should I say, are lace up. I appreciate that. I have mixed mixed feelings when it comes to sculpting uh, plastic boots rather than actually having it made out of material because sometimes they do a fantastic job, like uh, the, the last figure I reviewed, and sometimes they do a terrible job when they sculpt it. So uh, there's some texture to the bottom of the uh, the boots there. So the some figures, there's a little bit of a looseness to the uh, movement of the uh, ankle, and it can affect on you trying to pose the figure because it kind of falls forward or falls backward. This one is pretty stiff, which I like because it makes it easier to make the figure stand up, assuming you don't have a stand to go with it. The, the detailing on the coat is pretty nice. The bu buttons are, are, uh, are attached firmly. It looks like it's a, a snap closure on the jacket. And the quality of the jacket, the thickness of the jacket is very appropriate. So that's pretty good. Now let's take the jacket off because I, I won't be displaying the figure with uh, with the jacket, that's for sure. Because after all, he only wore it briefly in the film and he was mostly shown with uh, just the shirt on underneath. Oh. Put those hands back in there. I like the style of hand too. Some of them are pretty flimsy. This one's pretty good. All right, so pants, way too big, I think. Um, I bring up, oh my goodness, now I took the shirt out. Okay, so the, the, the pants are, uh, are uh, Velcro closure and it's a pretty loose Velcro. It's not working too well. It's kind of just for show. It's very, uh, not very sticky Velcro, um, but the, the the shirt I I know for a fact that the shirt didn't look like that in the film. Um, this looks like a, a weird looking shirt. Maybe there was this lined texture in a, in a, in the patch center patch area of the shirt, but there was no definitely no uh, heavy contrast in the color. So that's one thing. Um, yeah, let's see what else we have going on here. I'm taking a mental note of all this, don't worry. Okay, so I was worried 
that there was no suspenders, but it looks like we got them here. So the suspenders come separately. When you're displaying the figure with just the uh, the shirt with no coat on over over underneath over top, you're definitely going to want to display it with the suspenders because that's how he was in the film. And it looks like wow, you actually have to attach them into the buttons here. We're going to see how difficult that is because off camera I'm going to arrange this figure and uh, fix it up so it looks display worthy. Okay, so it comes with this uh, uh, art, artist set thing. And um, here's all of the, the various, uh, it looks, pencils and, and uh, pastels and chalks. Um, so you, you kind of insert those into here. And I'll do that off camera as well. Um, so he's got his complete artist set. Uh, they showed it briefly in the film when he was drawing. Ah, there it is. So there is the uh, the the sketch that he did of Rose, and um, I think they did did a good job at 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 uh, at their uh, their printing of it. So it looks like it's an actual sketch rather than uh, a print. It's got enough uh, resolution to it. A leather like cover to it. Very nice. It's got this plastic cover protecting it. I like this. Very good job they did on that. You've got uh, a chained timepiece. If you remember in the film, this was in the uh, the pocket of the coat, and this allowed uh, uh, the authorities on the ship to accuse him of theft. You got uh, some extra hands, depending on how you choose to pose the figure. Four extra hands there. You got a pocket knife. The whole thing is sculpted. It doesn't fold at all, which would have been a nice touch. If it was a, a folding knife, they could have done that. And that is it. Anything else? No, yeah, but the, the figures these days aren't coming with stands, and I, I don't know, it doesn't, to some people it may bother them because um, they like to have a stand, coordinated stand to go with their figures when they put them on display. For me though, I, I, I don't mind having to make them aftermarket. Uh, I have a, a, a guy on eBay that I get the stickers from, and then I, I separately, I buy the, sta the uh, stands, and then I just apply the stickers, and it comes with the nameplate and everything. That's fine with me. If I, if I could cut the cost down on the figure itself by doing that, that's fine with me. So I'm gonna cut off camera and I'm gonna put this figure together and see how it matches up to the custom that I already have. It'll be interesting. All right, folks, I'm back. First of all, what a mess those suspenders are. They really screwed over the buyer by not doing it themselves when they put the figure together and forcing the buyer to do it because uh, yeah, I broke one strap and one, two, three, four, five other buttons I had to work with that each took anywhere between one and five minutes to fidget with so that I can get those on. So that's one ding. Second, the, uh, the straps themselves are pretty cheap and weak. So like this one, this one here came undone and um, you haven't put that back in yet because it's just kind of flimsy. Two, he never wore the buttons all the way up on the shirt. The top one was always done, undone and it is sewn shut. So you would have to cut that stitching open in order to have that exposed. Now I did look up some uh, reference photos and there is this differentiation in the color between the two. I do think it's a little bit too pronounced the, between the white and the tan here. Um, I think the tan should be a little bit more subdued or, or, or whited out. Um, there's too much of a contrast, but that, that part is correct, so I was wrong there. Um, the pants are too loose. Uh, I'm, I might have to go in and get that restitched. Um, I do like the shoes. 
the head sculpt is what's bothering me. Now in the onset, you're looking at this head sculpt and you're thinking, boy, this is on the spot. But when you look at it side by side with my custom in a second, you're gonna see there's just something a little bit off about the eyes, almost like they're, they're too slanted. And this could just be my personal opinion because if you look back at my videos, I did a custom mod of uh, uh, Angelina Jolie, Laura Croft figure, and about half the people in the comments disagreed with me and said it looked better before and I ruined it, whatever. I think it looks better now. But in this case, I'm gonna zoom out here and look at the side-by-side -side next to my custom. And look at the two heads together. You tell me which one is more lifelike and which one is more of a likeness of Leonardo DiCaprio. This one, yes, you could tell it's him. It's a good sculpt, good, decent paint job. But you move over to this one. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit too cartoon-like, maybe a little too exaggerated. But to me, this looks more like Leo. One, two, one, two. I don't know. Additionally, I looked up the uh, the suspenders and the straps are supposed to be brown. Now, my custom, the straps are maybe a little bit too light on the brown, but on the one that Black Box put out, it is just straight black. Also, I do like the buckle better on my custom. Uh, the shirt is a little too plain. It doesn't have that uh, that uh, that pattern on the chest. And the pants I used were green and not corduroy. So uh, these pants are corduroy, but they should be a little bit darker, just according to the reference photos. I did put the artist kit together, and I do like the way that turned out. And it, it folds up, and you can tie it closed with the attached string here. So I do like that. They didn't have to include that, but they did, which is a nice bonus. I appreciate that. Um, especially, especially the drawing here. That's, that's awesome. Um, but, I mean, overall, I'm going to have to give this figure a 6.5. The quality of the materials is great. The fitting on the figure itself is too loose. The head sculpt is a little lacking, maybe because I'm comparing it to the one I already have. And um, those suspenders are just driving me crazy. What a nightmare. Good luck with that if you buy this figure. So 6.5, I'm probably gonna end up doing a, a, a kit bash uh, style with this. So I will keep the shoes, keep the pants, keep the shirt, switch the, the, uh, sus the suspenders, and switch the head sculpt. And uh, I, I think that'll make a perfect figure. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I know a while back, a few videos back, I said I was uh, gonna be putting out a video of my entire collection on display. I'm still putting that together and finalizing the lighting. Um, there's a few outstanding tasks associated with that, but I do promise it's gonna be beautiful once I do that video, coming soon.